Hey, how's it going? Hello from Hawaii. If you didn't know, high school graduation is a big deal in Hawaii. We celebrate it with leis and graduation parties. This year, however, graduation ceremonies in Hawaii are canceled and kind of sad about that. But if they were still on and I was invited to give a commencement speech, this is how it would go. Aloha. Wow, the class of 2020, the class with perfect vision, right? Well, I want to share some life advice for you Hawaii graduates that isn't in the form of a tweet or a snide Facebook post. And no, I won't be quoting Dr. Seuss. Life is unfair. And I think that this pandemic experience has shown you this. It's something that they don't really tell you in high school because in high school, it seems like you can do anything that you want to do and that you have an equal chance to get whatever you want. But I quickly learned that that's not really true. It's just not. Certain people have advantages and disadvantages. They have certain experiences that are often different, leaving one person with more and one person with less. And that's just life. But don't let circumstances, especially negative ones, define you. It's going to be really easy to complain and begin down a path toward victimhood. And yes, it's unfair that you can't have a senior prom like everyone else. And yes, it's unfair that you can't end the school year with your friends. And yes, it's unfair that you couldn't experience a normal high school graduation. And I get it, it's a really big deal. I know I'm from Hawaii, but it's just not how things turned out this year. So rather than sink into despair, how is this experience gonna define your character for the better? This entire situation has been hard for a lot of people, including students. And maybe society has overlooked the impacts on kids because the adults are struggling to process things. So I acknowledge that this whole thing has impacted you too. But I say, at least for the class of 2020, try to make the best of this by looking at this situation as an opportunity. I mean, after all, you are now an adult and you're going off into the real world, whether to college or the workforce. And you know, I've seen some pretty creative ways that people have adjusted their celebration of graduation this year in Hawaii. I mean, having these ceremonies online for one thing is amazing and something that I never thought we'd see in Hawaii because you know how we are. People in Hawaii don't like the change. I mean, why do you think we still call it longs instead of CVS? You know, believe it or not, as much as we love high school graduation, it's kind of a sacrifice for certain people too. I mean, they have to drive down to the school or the venue, try to find parking, wait an entire ceremony just to hear your one name, then get lost in the crowd to find your family, then they give you the lay, take the picture, and then they battle traffic to get home. But this year, this is the year that we have to evaluate how we do things and to actually do things differently and that even the most celebrated and sacred of events the high school graduation could be conducted differently even if it's only just for one year and maybe next year things go back to normal and we have the lays and the big family gatherings and grad parties and that's fine but nothing would have pushed us to change and who knows what good will come from this i mean i got to watch a high school graduation from home i thought that was pretty cool a robot passed out diplomas, that was also pretty cool. And it's not about breaking tradition, but it's about finding creative ways of doing things within these traditions for the modern times. So I say rather than use this experience as another reason why life is so unfair, try to learn from this experience and use it in a positive way. I know that it comes across as, you don't know what you're talking about, you got to graduate, you didn't have this taken away from you, and you know what? You're right, I had a high school graduation and so did the class before me and the class before me and you're probably gonna be the only class that this is ever gonna happen to. So yes, it's unfair. So what are you gonna do about it? How do you pick yourself up? Because life's not gonna stop because of all of this. You know, for you local kids especially, if you haven't noticed, life is getting pretty hard in Hawaii. Heck, it's hard for my generation to find a good job, start a family, and buy a house. For your generation, it's pretty much gonna be impossible. I've seen so many of my peers move to the mainland because of how hard things are. You know, it just took them a while because they tried to make it work here in Hawaii, but they had to move. And your generation, you guys are gonna be moving away a lot sooner. And that's your friends and your family that's not gonna be here. And so how will local kids survive in Hawaii in the future? For most graduates, you had some years of college before entering the workforce, or maybe you start working in the hotels or you go work construction. But until you have to work, use the time to learn perseverance and a good work ethic because when things settle down, you're gonna need those things. So congratulations to the class of 2020 and good luck.